a bit of robotics update. Now it's been a while. It's been it's been three months and a bit. And believe me, I have some excuses. I spent over two of them overseas. I was in Bosnia seeing my parents. I did hash out some content for Texcellent, which is something I'll tell you about. And then I came back to Melbourne and I was effectively homeless. I stayed at like two different friends' houses, didn't have a place of my own. But all of that is pretty well over. And now I have this lovely office I want to show you. Boom. Nice new computer setup, little whiteboard, sweet view over Collingwood. If you know where this is in Melbourne, yeah, it kind of like the place. The view on the other side is even nicer, but I think I'll have to plug out the cable to reach. Dun, 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 dun. And the sun setting over there. And it's like forest and skyline. It's pretty sweet. But anyway, what does this all mean for our robotics channel and YouTube? Well, in 10 days, I'm getting my internet set up. Blame TPG, they're really slow. Hopefully, it's going to be pretty good. And at that point, I've already got two videos ready to go, and I'll start uploading. This, hopefully, is going to be short enough for me to post before those videos. And I want to tell you what my plans are for the next couple of months and what I want to be doing with the channel. Now, um, there will be sort of three kinds of videos. One, I'll start taking... Well, let's start from the top, actually. Big ideas in tech. Randomly, one day, I did a video on commenting on, um, like, a bike that I saw on YouTube that everybody was sharing. It was a human-powered bike. And in a way, it was like a bit of a silly idea because, you know, human beings eat expensive food and are really inefficient at converting it to energy. And this bike was like stainless steel and high machine precision. And it was considered like a solution for electricity shortages in the third world, which was kind of a silly idea. Anyway, I just did a little bit of a video explaining how it was a suboptimal idea. And the response to that was amazing, both positive and negative. So I, I haven't made any since, but I've actually, enjoyed, I've, I've actually enjoyed the experience and the discussion that came with it. And I think that there are a few more topics in, in terms of the wider idea of technology that I want to discuss. And a couple of them I'm really close to, like transhumanism. I find that is a really amazing topic to talk about, both in positive and negative aspects of it. I, I think it's sort of an inevitable future and the greatest hope for humanity, but at the same time, there's plenty of reasons to be scared of it. Um, I want to talk about a little bit about schools and the school system and the way people learn. That's I spend probably 150, 200 days a year in classrooms teaching stuff that schools generally don't teach. Uh, programming, coding, robotics, Arduino, like hackerspaces, Raspberry Pi stuff. And I can't help but have hundreds and hundreds of conversations with people about, yeah, how would you do school differently? what we should be doing about it. And on the other side, I'm talking to academics and principals and teachers on a daily basis, and there's like a disconnect between people that are keen to learn and people delivering the education, and there's a bit of a discussion to be had. So I'm gonna make a bunch of videos on that topic. And since, you know, since about two, three years ago, I'm always trying out new gadgets and stuff from Kickstarter, and I know a lot of people do review videos, and I do not wanna make this review channel. But I will definitely look to put some more spotlight on awesome ideas that are coming out. And there's, there's some happening on a weekly basis. So that's going to be the big ideas in tech, something I'll be talking about a fair bit. Now with Texelin, uh, a company that I'm helping run, uh, and we are sort of trying to bridge that gap between people delivering the education and people interested to learn, kids interested to learn things like, you know, technology, coding, robotics. Um, I'll, I've already created a scratch course running all the way from year three up to year 10, and I'm in the process of creating an Arduino course and a Python course, and I will be putting up tutorials from there on this channel. Uh, I've already got some really exciting scratch stuff I want to show you. Actually, I'll cut it in. Uh, I've bought some lightsabers 
from Kmart and made a game in Scratch that uses video motion that is absolutely fun to play with. And I'm hoping to teach year three and four, year three and four kids how to do it. So that's going to be pretty amazing. Let the fish through. Score three. Let the fish through. Oh my god, the sharks are so fast! Lost three points there. Nearly got him. And finally, once a month, I am doing a hackerspace in Clayton, where I used to live. And yeah, that, that's going really well. The library there is loving it. They spent two, three grand. And like public libraries don't spend a lot of money in Australia. But they spent two, three grand getting a whole lot of Raspberry Pi equipment. And we're having 20 to 30 people coming over every time we do it. I hope they kind of run a bunch of workshops in my absence as well. I'm only there once a month, but I'll definitely look to record some of the stuff that the people are doing there. And look, now that I'm on camera, I will promise to deliver at least two videos a month for the next three months. And it's a really busy term, but um, I, have, I have the equipment and I think I can hash out some time. Alright, that'll be all for now. I love you all, and if all some of that sounds good to you, you know, be patient, stay subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And that's it. Take care.